My friend, welcome to another video. If we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and I talk bass. Every now and again, there's a review. Look, before I get into this video, I need to say thank you to everyone that uh, supported, called, Venmo, Cash App, all that stuff um, during Hurricane Ida. You guys, the help that you provided was immeasurable. And so I thank you for that and I need to go on and put that out there. What a year this last month has been. Let's talk about the Groove Gear capsule because this video is long overdue. I'm gonna try not to ramble too much and try to timestamp the video below so you can get to the juice. I bought this case specifically for a trip to Chicago that I was, I was doing a gig um, a few weeks before Hurricane Ida, Ida, whatever her name was. Um, and I did that because, you know, normally I travel with my mono um, bag and I love that bag and it's always been great to check in. I just get in an earlier boarding group and check in and do that thing. However, this was my first fly date post quarantine, so I didn't know what the thing was going to be like. So this came out. I got this. Having said all that, I will say that I think this is the traveling musician's case. It's not a gig bag, it's a case. I don't think I ever really carried it on my back, which you can, um, but most of the time I rolled it. I rolled it to the, to the gate. The first time I flew with it, I gate checked it. Um, it went through security, all that. A lot of people had a lot of questions about it. It's an attractive case. Um, it's an interesting looking case. So a lot of people would stop and, uh, and ask questions about it. So, um, but since then, um, since I got it, you know, I, I flew, I, I was on the road when Ida hit, Ida, whatever her name was. I came back into the city. I was in the city for like 24 hours. Um, and then I had to do my Rick Grimes, you know, bug out bag type thing, which it also doubled as a great bug out bag. Totally, um, I have traveled with three different bases. Anyway, I said all that to say that the following week, I had two more festivals to play in California. So from Chicago to Arkansas to Kentucky, California, and a whole lot of different vehicles and things like that in between, this thing just held up like a champ. So let's talk about the features, which is all the stuff that you would think about in a case that you would travel with, and then some, and then I'll show you some footage of my travels and maybe uh, narrate a little bit over that. Sound good? Let's get into it. So, this case, I, I shy away from calling it a bag. Look, man, this is not just for me. If you're playing on Saturday, Sunday morning, whatever, and you just gotta have it, I don't tell you not to get it, definitely get it. But if I'm going from gig to gig to gig to gig and I'm on subways and Bart's trains and buses and cars and all that stuff. I just wouldn't do it. So um, the bottom or the the underside of it, what I call the underside of it, is what you would expect out of a hard piece of luggage, right? Very, very durable. I never worried about this thing, not one time traveling, not one time traveling. Always came out like a champ. I'm like inside, you have all the stuff you would expect in a case. A place for your instrument, plus this iso chamber where your headstock is protected so you've got a lot of air around that thing there's some add-ons it did come with a um like a humidifier pack that will um, add and subtract humidity but then when you zip that up the top section you've got a lot of space okay if you're gonna pack some clothes I would say they say you got enough space for it to pack for a weekend by experience I would say if you're kind of roughing it I'd say a good 72 hours also you know the normal stuff cables I don't carry a lot of pedals I didn't carry pedals with me on any of these gigs so I had cables and my you know an extra set of strings and stuff like that stuff you would expect to have in uh, a travel bag but Really, it handled more like like a durable piece of luggage. The wheels, that was the best feature to me. Um, 
like I said, I rarely carried it on my back. I put the wheels on and I kept those on most of the time. And I mean, it was seamless, super smooth. Um, the saxophone player in this band I was playing with, he was like, man, that's, that's actually kind of sexual. Maybe not not to me, but, you know, they slid right on and off. So, um, great feature. Jay Baltimore and the team over at Groove Gear has always, always been very forward thinking. And so, I'm not saying this because I do have a professional relationship with Groove Gear, but that's not why I'm saying it. I'm saying it because this thing works. You know I love my mono cases. I've talked about mono. I've, I've, I've had a professional relationship with mono for a long time. This is, this is the first case that I've ever had from uh, Groove Gear. So yeah, it was really easy to get around airports and cars and all that stuff with. But like I said, it is not light. Once you put all your stuff in there, this is, you're packing, you're traveling, right? You wanna take this and put it on the, uh, you know, let them check it. Having said that, fully packed, I think the heaviest I ever got with it was like 35 pounds. Okay, that's, that was my packing. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. And right now I'm going to play you guys some video from the unboxing, some stops along the way, and then show you what it looks like now. You know, it's one thing to talk about the unboxing. Oh, it's nice and pretty and it's cool, but how does it hang at the end? How does it get through the thing you wanted to get through? That's a mark of some real gear for me. My two favorite pieces of gear from Groove Gear are now this and uh, the, 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 the Groove Cart. Can't beat them. Can't, absolutely cannot beat them. Best things out there on the market. So enjoy the video. Remember there's timestamps. If you like this kind of stuff, go on and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's get into it. Still alive. So let's take a look at what this guy looks like now that it's been a whole bunch of places and done a whole bunch of things you know this material in the front i don't know what it is uh it isn't leather but whatever it is it's tougher than it looks it's way 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 tougher than it looks i believe that will probably wipe off so that's the front um still got my tags on there can see some I mean, normal wear and tear type stuff just little scratches what's been hitting the ground but those things are what you might expect uh, to happen 
to something that's, you know, hitting the ground all the time. Back is still solid. A little scratch there. Of course, I got to put my, my own little thing on there. And there's your TSA lock. This thing is the coolest thing. Let me, uh, let me open this. You can't see my, you can't see my code. I have to blur out the code. I don't want you trying to steal my stuff. Boom. Oh, looks like TSA did come in and do a little inspection. Got your humidifier joint there. I don't know how that technology works. I, I just call it a joint. It's not a joint. It's your ISO chamber for the headstock. Yeah, I really felt comfortable every step of the way with this guy. I did have to take some of my stuff out of here, but just so you can see this top portion. So you can see some undergarments. Um, I had all of my, my toiletries in there. So um, actually one of the bottles spilled a little bit cables some some rubber gloves Let's see what we got in here some Dunlop cables rag I had to stop and get that in Tennessee hey there's my tripod got an envelope filter tuna now I did not get the uh, there is a tag you can get um, that you can put on here like a little uh, one of those I forget what you call them you know what I'm talking about I'll leave a link to it and some more incidental stuff in there can't let you see all my goodies so yeah, man, that's what it is. That is what the case looks like. Now having been to Chicago, Kentucky, Alabama, I mean, Arkansas, Tennessee, Salt Lake City, Utah, forgot that. Um, and of course, now we're back in Louisiana. Yeah, man, if you're a traveling musician, I, I can't recommend this enough. Nothing like peace of mind and uh, serious peace of mind with this guy. Hey, Memphis. And trash on the floor. I'm, I swear I'm going to clean up. I've been cleaning up so much stuff. Um, post hurricane, uh, I guess I should have smelled my fridge the other day. Uh, it was pretty gnarly. Hey, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you again for watching. Uh, thanks for visiting the channel and just sticking in there. This video was a lot to uh, to edit because there's so much footage from just different stops from the first time I uh, traveled with the case, you know. Uh, evacuating and traveling then on another tour so yeah it was just a lot but i really wanted to get this out again groove gear makes some great stuff the capsule is a fantastic case for the traveling musician if you want to use it for around town hey i i you know 
I think it's a little bit much, but if you're traveling, you're getting on airplanes, you're getting, you know, in the van and you're throwing your instrument around a lot, um, this is going to give you some peace of mind for your investment. So if you like the videos, if you like the content here, go and hit that like button, that subscribe button, you know you want to, and it only takes a second. Um, yeah, and I catch you in the next one. Peace. Two fingers.